Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. So family and I thought we'd take a break away from everything we have going on here on the property, all the building projects. And we wanted to give you a tour of our full 20 acre off-grid property located here in North Idaho. We think it's a beautiful, special place. It's why we purchased it. We love being here. We've owned it for the past two years. We've been living here for about a month. It has a number of great features, uh, which are, is a real big part of why it is that we decided to, to transition and move here full time. So we thought we'd take you around and just kind of show you everything we love about the property. Our property here in North Idaho is half timber and half established pasture. This pasture mix is alfalfa and timothy. You can see the alfalfa and the timothy are just growing for this season. And we hope to get two cuttings from it, but we'll see with the rain. But it was very valuable to us to have this since we do rotational grazing with our animals. We have sheep and rabbits currently, and we had big dreams of expanding that. So this amount of pasture already here has been very valuable for us. So stop number two on our property tour is a spot that only Nevaeh and I have gone to. And none of the younger kids or Melissa have been back here as of yet. So we're going to be exploring this as a family together for the first time. So we're about to enter the forested portion of our property. You can see that in walking through here, there are actually what appear to be some old roads. And again, there were parts of our forest that were actually logged at one point. So we have some older existing pathways that allow us access into the forested area and access to the large clearings that are set within the trees themselves. What we love about the timbered portion of our property is that it provides a ton of opportunity for us to utilize natural resources. Things like firewood, the kids can come back here and decide to build in one of the clearings one day if they choose to do so. They can utilize the timber itself for milling their own lumber. And in the fall, we hope to come back here and do some hunting, get ourselves a deer or an elk or a pheasant, turkey, what have you. All right, next stop in the tour, we are walking down to the lower portion of our property. It's a two thirds of a mile down our driveway. So it's a pretty long walk, but at the bottom we have been blessed with a year round stream that runs. So we'll give you a glimpse of what that looks like. We like to take a lot of different walks around the property and actually when we were walking by the stream and seeing just how far it goes, we found an old abandoned camp. We're not sure exactly how old it is, but there's a lot of old bottles, um, like medicine bottles, alcohol bottles. We're not quite sure what they are, but um, just pretty neat to see some stuff from the past. And I'd love to try to date some of this stuff and see how long ago people were camping here. So this looks like an old gun holster. Like how crazy is that? So we own a decent portion, a decent stretch of this little year round stream. And what we're planning to do in the section right behind us here is actually excavate it at some point and convert it into a pond that we can maybe stock with fish. It's in close proximity to our driveway. And also if you look up the hill here, you can't make it out, but that's the eventual uh, site of our home that we plan to build here in the upcoming year. The majority of our property is actually up on a bluff, at least the flat area where you see the pasture. Because of how it's set up, we have a number of these gullies like the one you see behind me that kind of encompass the property in its entirety. What we want to do down the road is utilize one of these gullies because of the nice safe backdrop it provides um, to get a range of some kind set up both for archery and for our freedom sticks. So we have that to look forward to as well. So you guys actually saw some of the property for the first time as I saw some of this property for the first time. So pretty neat to get out there and explore. There's just so many different areas out here that it's almost impossible to see it all. All right, here we go. 36 year old dad versus 13 year old daughter. No. 
Nice job, Nevaeh! Yeah, still got it. That's why your middle name is Grace. <laughs> We decided to reserve about three acres of the property for our residential area. So we've got the foundation to our home already in. We are standing over our septic system. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy and I, we have not used it yet. Jeremy and I are going to be building the home on the foundation behind us. So that's going to be a really long project. We'll be documenting that whole thing. We've also already got our pole barn in and it will act also as a garage and storage area. And we are living in our trailer in it right now. And we're going to be building a tiny home in that very, very soon so that we have that space to live in while we build our house here. Behind us is the fencing for our garden and orchard space. We wanted to make sure that was in close proximity to the house just to make it easier to get food and attend after the garden. So we have a lot of projects that we've already gotten started, but uh, we have a very long way to go on this journey. So here we are, we are in the pole barn. We've referenced this uh, a couple times now in this video, I think. This is what's serving as our home for the time being. We have our camp trailer that is parked on the inside. We have everything set up and organized as best as possible in there to keep us comfortable. Having this additional space has been huge for us. We're able to finally get things organized and kind of set up roughly with how we want to have things uh, eventually put away and tucked away. So we got some storage racks. We got all that put away. We got a workshop area kind of set up for the time being uh, with all my tools and gadgets and all that good stuff. We have a living area, a very simple living area that's been set up in the back here for the kids. Uh, you can see there's a couch, there's a sitting area and all that. We also have a piano for our daughters, both of whom play piano and guitar and like to sing. So we've made this as comfortable as we possibly can. It's not as comfortable as a house, however, but for what we're doing and what we hope to accomplish here in the near future, it is more than enough to, to suit our needs. At the back of the pole barn, we are actually going to start a new project, which is framing out our little house or our barn dominium. So we are going to be taking the back 16 by 40 feet and framing it with an eight foot ceiling so that we can have a strong storage loft up top for hay storage or, or whatever, so we're not losing our barn space. But it's also going to provide a heated space where we can have good, reliable wood burning heat in the winter time because we're not really sure how long this house build is going to take. It's very realistic to think that we could be living here for the next two years. Likely. Yeah, so we want to make sure that the kids have their own space, we have our own space, and we have an actual functioning kitchen. The trailer has been great on, um, you know, in the spring and the summertime, but going into winter with homeschooling and everything, it doesn't seem like the most practical option for us personally. So we are going to be building out this space and then we can later use it for, whether kids use it for music studios or I use it for my real estate or YouTube or whatever we want to use it for. Maybe one of our kids wants to transition into it. It's just nice to have that space here. All of our family lives out of state, so it's also a great guest quarters down the road. Okay guys, so thanks for tagging along. It's something a little different from us here today. We're taking a break from all of our building projects. We just wanted to take an opportunity to kind of show you around and touch upon everything it is that we love about the property we were able to find and purchase. Yeah, when it came to purchasing the property, we had a list and we're just really blessed to have found what was on our list. And so some of the things that we were looking for was established pasture, a good amount of timber, tree line pasture, good southern exposure for growing food, really... Um, you know, freedom and building for our kids if they choose that they want to build their own tiny homes here or their own, you know, bigger homes here, just friendly building codes. Yeah, freedoms in general. Uh, we wanted surface water of some kind, which we were able to find with the stream, the year round stream. Um, what else? Natural beauty. Yeah, just natural beauty and be being able to go outside, look around, and see the beautiful views that we are very blessed to have here. Um, so I think that's about it for today's video. Yeah. Yeah, I think right. so. So stay tuned, guys. We are starting our tiny home build next. That is in the next project. Jeremy brought home the lumber this morning. So we are going to get started on that. Please stay tuned to see how we make a tiny home in our pole barn. And once we wrap that project up, we will get started on the big house. So we've got a lot coming up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe and that bell button to see all of our adventures. See you guys. See you later.